Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Wednesday, June 5th, 2013. Well, this is take two. Uh, my recorder decided to die very near the end of my recording for today. So I have to re-record it. I don't know why I quit. I hope it doesn't happen again. So here's today. Busy from an announcement perspective right on through the whole day into 2 p.m. this afternoon. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, right, so I'm going to go as fast as I can here, so this should be a nice short recording. Take a look at what's going on pre-market. Looks like we might open down. Um, gold is below 1400 and oil is below our bogey of 95 although up over the last couple of days and like we talked about briefly the Nikkei index here swinging wildly in the two to three percent range over the last three days those are pretty big swings for an index uh, and our current account is uh, Google is the problem child here and let's take a look at the chart I put an alert in here on my last recording <laughs> um, because the alert did trigger the other day but it recovered nicely so I didn't do anything so now I'm re-alerting Google all right, and then one other thing I want to take a look at before we get into the A plus list is the spider trade that I was talking about. Uh, looking at this trend line here, um, we're seeing that uh, there's some pretty good weakness in the market right now we might be in the process of a correction whether it's going to be minor major or a crash we don't know but we were looking to get back up here to this Fibonacci level at 50 percent of retracement and right here is the very popular 38.2 which is usually the first um, point of resistance in a uh, retrace. So uh, looking pretty down here you might say. And we may have to move this we probably should move this down. We'll do this uh, later. Alright and I also wanted to let you know that this is the last recording for this week. Thursday and Friday, I will not make a recording. Um, I have a death in the family, and we're heading back to home, I guess you might say, and uh, uh, paying our respects. So I should be back Monday, according to plan. All right, right into the A-plus list. First, let's take a look at our rules here. For the candidate scan, don't trade in the first half hour. In our candidate scan, you must read these. If you're using this methodology or whatever methodology you use, when you go to look at candidates, you should always read over your rules and put meaning into them. Sometimes you can, you know, after every day of reading this, it sort of gets to be like a um, mantra rather than something to remind you of something so put meaning into it maybe put a background of dollars money always uh, helps me to add meaning to um, anything I'm sure it helps you too all right uh, into the scan Apple let's start out with nothing going on here no movements towards our stochastic points and the moving average is flat. First thing to look at here is moving average is flat. So nothing going on there at all. Not interested at this time for a directional trade. Unlike Amazon, which also is flat, 
and paying off nicely in our iron condor. So we're happy about that, but no directional trades. Baidu, moving average up. Uh, we have a target down here, looking to see if we're going to hit it. So we'll just move on here. Cell gene. Moving average looks like it's turning over. We bailed on this one early for a small loss, smaller than we would have today <laughs> or yesterday. So uh, we got out on that one. Uh, moving average is probably going to be turning over. No directional trades there. No entries. All right, CF, we currently have a bear call. We're not, uh, looks like the moving average is uh, definitely flat and possibly creeping up. No new entries here. We had actually kind of a failure, so I'm going to take that out. Chipotle. Another one that we got out of, and it still is sort of moving down. I'm going to, we were looking for a possible entry on this. Uh, I'm just going to hold off. It might be interesting to you, but if something should happen over the next couple of days, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. So I'm not putting an alert on it. Gold, we have a bear call on that. Uh, and that's playing out nicely. Lots of noise in here on the stochastic. No entry signals. Google. Uh, I did put an alert on this to let me know if something bad happens today. And then I will take a look at possibly exiting this bull put. Um... Still looking good from a stochastic perspective, but we're losing a little strength here and and momentum on the MACD, uh, and that's on all time frames, the midterm and long term time frame. We'll see how that one plays out, but no new entries there. Goldman Sachs. Uh, we're looking for a secondary weaker kind of you know uh, uh, delta 20 or less entry on this Goldman Sachs delta 20 or less at this level delta 20 or more on this level um, not seeing anything there yet still waiting for our little hook LinkedIn uh, glad I got out of that one too. And we have uh, stochastic is definitely not giving us an, any sort of entry. Momentum is definitely shifting down on our two time frames. MasterCard yeah, moving average up. We are looking for an entry here. We didn't get confirmation. We have momentum moving down. I am taking a pass on that and I am taking that target off of there. I'm not interested in this just based on these um, secondary indicators. Even though we have a hookup here on percent %K, it failed back here. So that's not good. So we don't want to think about that one anymore. Netflix. Uh, we're doing pretty good here on Netflix. It's looking fairly good. We have a short term uh, MACD moving up and our stochastic still showing some nice strength. Uh, but the long term is looking a little weak here on momentum. We just crossed the zero line this week so that's not very good we'll keep an eye on this I don't think it's justified in getting an alert but what I'm going to do is put one on anyway because I don't want to be caught sleeping 
so I'm alerting this at or below this level and let's move on okay price line nothing going here this is way too noisy taking removing this and we will watch again for another entry opportunity to see how Priceline plays out. Panera. Uh, we're looking for a hook down here. Looks like there might be one forming. So we'll just keep an eye on that. We don't have our signal yet. And Visa. Uh, we got a hook up here, but we still we closed. I would say let's see, close 180.2, close 180.19. That's only a penny difference in these closes. This is a penny higher than the day before. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm really feeling kind of bearish right now, so. <clears throat> I'm not reading a lot of strength into any of these bullish trades here. So we're just going to sit by the sidelines on that one too and probably won't be able to really look at it till Monday. All right. Um, I pretty much think that that's it for today. Nice short one for you. I guess there's something to be said about having my recorder crash and having to redo the video so anyway remember no recording no scan on Thursday or Friday of this week I should be back Monday thanks for watching have a great day and a great weekend and happy trading